Uh, hello, today I will be making a video, well, an uh, unboxing and a little bit of a review of the Telcel CTE. What is it? Sure. It says CTE World 2. This phone is for. It's a track phone, but I bought it because we're gonna. We're gonna use it as an unlocked phone for an international phone. We're gonna use it as an international phone since it's unlocked as well. Well, that's what the description says. Hopefully, it is. The specifications for it are let's see. I bought this, or my dad bought this off of eBay, and it cost him about $29. He bought three of them. But for a $30 phone, it's got a 1.2 quad core, 5 megapixel camera. It's got 4G, Wi Fi, 3.5 inch screen, Android Jelly Bean 4.3. It's got Bluetooth 4.0. It's got GPS, access to the Play Store, and a battery. And I'll I'll unbox it and show you that how many milliamps it is, and it's got a SIM card included so you can activate it with um, Telcel America. I'll try to put a link in the description to so where you can buy it off of eBay if the seller still has some available. So let's see, let's get the unboxing. I already did a little bit of it. Well, my mom did it, so now. See if I can put it somewhere else. We'll have to deal with it. Okay. So let's do this. We're gonna do this with one hand. Okay. I right. took care of this. So. You have to rip these things off in order to be able to open it. You can just pry your your nail right under the little tabs. Lift it up. Okay. What's now what's included inside the box is a manual with the uh, MEIED. Right there I'm just gonna cover it right there. The Storage guide for Telcel. User guide for the phone. Um, wall adapter. It's a weird looking one. Kind of looks like the ones from China. Then a USB. Also, since I already opened it, the battery was outside of the phone and the back cover as well. So I'm just gonna pop it right out. So here it is. I already put in the battery. See, I'm gonna take it out again. Put the manuals and everything back in here. Okay, just gonna. For the battery. To, let's see, just get some focus here. There's like a little. Like a little opening right here. So you can just put your fingernail under it and you just pry it off. The battery is uh, let's get it to focus. So you can see a fifteen hundred milliamp hour battery. It's maybe CTE branded. Just gonna move the battery. As you can see, here's what's comes in with the phone. Now there is access for the pre-installed SIM card and the SD card slot. This is a 4G phone, so for thirty dollars, it's pretty good. So I'm just gonna power it on. Just gonna remove the little cover, the back cover back on. Turn it on to see what it looks like. Power buttons are up there. 
Oh, okay. So on the right hand side, only there's only SD card slot. On the bottom, there's nothing. On the left hand side, they got the volume buttons and the USB charger. It's the charger port. On top, you got the power button and so you got it to focus the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's got a 5.0 megapixel camera. I don't know if it's got a front facing one. I don't think so, so I'm just gonna turn it on. Notification. CT. Okay, get started. Start. And this, I'm so pretty surprised that it, it is a quad core phone after all. Just gonna do that there. Not now. Let's go on location next. I'm just gonna put, let's see. It comes with a stock Android keyboard. It's actually pretty fast. The phone is not complete. Okay, finish. Okay. As you can lower the brightness. Automatic brightness, okay. Let's make it less bright, so. I'm just gonna go into the. Okay. That's as slow as you can go with this phone. That's the lowest brightness. Let's see the maximum brightness. It is. Let's see. So it's pretty bright, and also a neat thing. Well, I thought it's neat is that you have an actual ambient sensor to actually have the brightness being adjusted automatic, adjusted automatically. So as you can see, it's not doesn't get stuck or doesn't lag or anything. So let's see if we go to. Oh, let's check out the settings. Settings. Okay, I'm just gonna. Settings. Here it is. Again, this is uh, 4.3 Android Jelly Bean. Hold that. Let's drag it back. Uh, the model number is right there. There we go. As you can see, the options that are available. Let's see how much storage it has. It's got 1.4 gigabytes of internal storage. 1.28 available for the user. But you can put like a 32 gigabyte SD card, I think, in this. I'm gonna verify later. Let's see. I'm just gonna go to the web browser. Track phone. Go to YouTube. Open up torture. YouTube. Gonna watch a video to see how the speaker sounds. Just gonna lower the brightness. It's okay, there you go. Do a quick video right here so you can actually see. Just full screen.
It's not that loud. Let's see, start it back up. It's not that loud. The viewing angles aren't that great either. As you can see, the speaker isn't that much powerful at all. So, yeah, that's a big video. To show you the speaker, I'm just gonna close this tab. There you go. Just kinda log into my Google account to run a uh, quadrant standard to see. So you can actually get like a more general idea of how this actually, the performance of this device. Again, this phone, when you're typing on the keyboard, it doesn't lag at all. It just, the little vibration is actually quite nice. It's not too much and it's not like too weak. It also, it also feels good in the hand when you're holding it. It's a pretty nice phone. You When you hold it, it's not that, it's not going to bother you if you put it in your pocket. It's not going to hurt you when you sit down or anything. It's just like about the right size it's a 3.5 inch screen Let's see Just gonna pause the videos until I, I can actually sign into the account okay so I got back to my account I'm just gonna accept the terms and conditions okay just gonna a hard time focusing here Not sideways. Okay. Just gonna go to the search bar. Oh, let's see. Quadrant standard. Wow. Okay, I got it. Got it. Quadrant standard. Right there. I'm having a hard time focusing with this. Let's see, it's gonna put that on focus. Except it's installing some notifications from Google Hangouts. I mean, it's not that bad after all. It's thirty dollar phone, but you actually get more, probably. I thought you wouldn't can really get a good phone. Well, I didn't. Since there are China phones that are very cheap and they're like quad cores, one gig of RAM, and all that stuff. But I didn't think, well, CT would actually make a phone that actually, a phone at this price point and that actually that is good. Just gonna go back to it. It's downloading. Just gonna pause it and just come back when it's actually done downloading. Okay, so I downloaded. Also, I just wanted to correct myself. It's not a five megapixel camera. It's a three megapixel camera. Just gonna focus right there. Quadrant standard. Okay. On full benchmark. So we're just gonna hold it. It's not that bad. Oh, 49 PS <laughs> Not that bright. It's got a pretty good low low brightness. Okay, it's done. So we're gonna look at it. Okay, 
Well, the Wi-Fi, the internet speed is not that fast. As you can see, the network makes it fail. Just gonna run it again. Just gonna pause it and just get back to you. When you get back to you guys after I'm done. After it's done. Okay, so it's done. We got a score about four thousand eight hundred eighty-one. Just gonna see system information. Oh, I was curious to know how much RAM it actually had. Okay. What? This is interesting. I don't know if you can see it says number of cores. Right there it says two, but in the box it says Processador quad core. So is that a mistake in the Description or what? The serial number is all zeros. Hmm. That's weird. It's not so much frame it has. Oh yeah, we can go to setting. Well, we can just see the camera right now. It doesn't autofocus. It's slow at taking pictures. As you can see right there. Can you zoom in? Yeah, it's a 3 megapixel camera. But it actually doesn't look that bad. So now to the settings. To see much. Okay, now I just noticed a little bit of lag. Gotta go to application management. Oops. 1.33. Only. It's got about 300 or something. No, about 400 megabytes of RAM. So it's 512 megabytes of RAM. So yeah, that's... It. Also, I was wondering if you guys wanted to know if I would recommend this phone. I think I would actually recommend it. For $30 and what you actually get, 4G. Supposedly quad-core, but it's a dual-core. But it's actually pretty fast. It doesn't lag. One of the downsides is that since it's cheap, you don't get that much storage, you don't get that much power, the camera isn't that good. But again, if you're not, if you're a type of person that doesn't really care about how good your camera, how good pictures are, you just want to take pictures just like normally without actually paying attention to that much detail, then this could be good for you. If you really don't want a big phone, this is a perfect phone, size phone, it's like the same size of an iPhone 4. Let's see what else. Oh, also it's got 1.4 gigabytes, 1.3 gigabytes available for the user. So if you would probably, if you would get this phone, you would probably need an SD card. So yep, that's it. This is a, uh, this is the end of the review of uh, CTE. So it's the model number. Huh. Let's go to the settings. That one. CTE Z six six seven G. Thank you. Subscribe, like, comment. If you have any questions, just ask. I won't have these for many long. I will have them until tomorrow because the Saturday they're, they're being shipped to our country. So if you have any further questions, I'll try my best to answer them to the best of my ability. Just. Well, like I said, like, subscribe, comment.
Tell me what you guys think. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, I've... Thank you.